over the past uh, two days, we have seen massive protests in Spain in front of the, uh, well, throughout, I guess, well, uh, in Spain, we've seen these protests, and it's also sort of like, you know, there's always been this uh, Catalonian separatist uh, movement. Is that right? In, uh, and it is, it is gaining a little steam uh, because of this. You've got uh, massive protests in Spain um, as the Spanish government is about to impose another round of austerity cuts. And in Greek... In Greece, excuse me, hundreds of thousands of anti-austerity protesters took to the streets yesterday as the uh, country was paralyzed by a general strike. The interesting thing about this general strike, it includes uh, not just uh, public and private sector unions, but also cops, uh, military personnel, people who work within the judicial system all on the streets. And there's reason to believe this is going to be problematic for the, uh, I guess, the coalition government that sort of coalesced around the idea of, like, we're going to promise no austerity and then deliver austerity uh, so that we can get a, I guess it's a $31 billion loan. They're going to impose this austerity and their deficit and debt is going to increase because, of course, it's going to diminish economic growth. It's just going to be inflicting more pain on these people, and they've had enough. So uh, Europe is becoming problematic again. I don't think that it ever ended. It just was quieted for a brief amount of time. Hundreds of thousands of people in Greece marching. <laughs> 